Nanami is an incredibly popular character from the Jujutsu Kaisen anime. Known as the 9-5 Sorcerer, he fights with a cloth-wrapped cleaver because of the way his powers work that I don't have time to go into because they are incredibly confusing to me. With Nanami's recent return to the anime in the Shibuya arc, I figured that some people out there might want to know how to make their own Nanami cleaver if they're going to cosplay him or just because they think it might be fun. This is how I made Nanami's cleaver. Please note that I do not live in Alaska, this was just filmed last winter. To make this cleaver I used plexiglass, 3 inch PVC pipe to make the handle scales, cloth to wrap the blade in, and leather to wrap the handle in. And the tools that I used to make this were a bandsaw, an angle grinder, a belt sander, a heat gun, a drill, a hacksaw, a Japanese pole saw, a rubber mallet, two-part epoxy, E6000 glue, a paint marker, various other pens and markers to draw out the shape, grid paper, and a straight edge. The first thing I did was to draw out the shape of the blade. I took a Japanese cleaver and scaled it up because there is no consistency between drawings sometimes. I made the blade length about 17 inches and the height 4 and a half, with a handle length of 5 inches. When I cut out the stencil, I made sure not to rip it. God. After transferring the stencil of the blade to the plexiglass, I went to use the worst bandsaw in existence to cut it out, until... Due to unforeseen complications, as in the bandsaw broke, I have decided to switch over to the angle grinder, which will be used by my father, because his is old and I don't like it. Dad, any thoughts on this situation? Sounds like a personal problem to me. And after I got my dad to use the terrifying 40-year-old angle grinder to cut out the blade, I cut off a piece of PVC for the handle. After I just spent all the time doing that with the two different saws, I now realize I could have used the chop saw that we have. Ah well, live and learn I guess. I then used both a hacksaw and a Japanese pole saw to cut a line down the PVC so that I could flatten it out. I did this by heating up the PVC with a heat gun and when it was hot enough I used a piece of plywood to hold it flat until it had cooled down. I then drilled holes for the dowel rods. After using two part epoxy to hold the handle scales in place, I hammered the dowel rods through with a rubber mallet. After the epoxy had dried, I sanded down the handle to its final shape. I also sanded down the blade so there weren't any sharp edges to it and so it couldn't cut anyone on accident. Finally, I used E6000 to glue the leather to the handle. I then wrapped the blade in the cloth and drew on all the different spots, and with that, I was done. And that's how I made Nanami's Cleaver from Jujutsu Kaisen. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below. I do really enjoy making props, and I'm hoping that I can get into it and make more videos on that very, very soon. But that is all that I have for now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to follow me on any of my other social medias, links to all of those are going to be in the description down below as always. But with that, I hope that you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.